Here we have the compound inequality 3 fourths z plus 1 half is greater than 0 or 9 fifths z plus 7 is less than 1. After rewriting the inequality, we're going to start with the left hand side, subtracting 1 half from both sides. This gives 3 fourths z is greater than negative 1 half. To get rid of the fraction, we're going to multiply both sides by 4. This gives 3z is greater than negative 2. Next, we're going to get z by itself by dividing both sides by 3. So our left-hand side of the inequality is now z is greater than negative 2 thirds. Moving to the right-hand side, we're going to subtract both sides by 7. This gives 9 fifths z is less than negative 6. To get rid of the fraction, we're going to multiply both sides by 5. This gives 9z is less than negative 30. To get z by itself, we're going to divide both sides by 9. After reducing, this gives the right-hand side of the inequality to be z is less than negative 10 thirds. So we have an open-ended circle going from negative 10 thirds to negative infinity, and an open-ended circle going from negative 2 thirds to positive infinity. In interval notation, this looks like an open-ended bracket from negative infinity to negative 10 thirds in union with an open-ended bracket from negative 2 thirds to infinity.